This is this is my life in America too. So you'll see the line quite comfortable. I have for five years lived in Belize peacefully. Seven months ago, the Belizean government sent 42 armed soldiers into my property. They killed one of my dogs. They broke into all of my houses. They stole. They arrested me and kept me handcuffed in the sun for 14 hours. I was taken to jail, and it was only the intervention of the U.S. Embassy that got me out of jail. Since that time, I have been continually harassed by the government. They have attempted to charge me with every crime, ranging from running an antibiotics laboratory without a license, to hiring security guards without a license, to having improper paperwork for my company, and most recently, the murder of my neighbor. I had to leave, but the story has to get out. I have documentation that proves the intense corruption at all levels of the Belizean government, now that I'm in a safe place, I can speak freely. I will be talking on my blog, whoismcafee.com, starting tonight, revealing the truth about police, and thank you very much. Les ha dado eh, bastantes cantidades de, de dinero para la población y las autoridades lo quieren para ellas. De ahí que ha iniciado una persecución política en su contra y él ha tenido que salvaguardar su integridad y su vida pasando la frontera de Guatemala para buscar asilo. Thank you all and on, on Thursday, whenever the time is, I will be happy to answer any questions from any of you. And uh, for journalists, you are far more polite than American journalists. Thank so. you. Bye, John. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. One more smile. Bye, bye.